Hello, this is a video of how to open up and what is inside the Genexis DRG7820. Uh, there's quite a few other videos on my channel about this same router, so if you're interested in it, you might want to look through some of the other videos. Ignore this stick of RAM, it's just hiding the serial number of the router. Uh, to open it up, there's a clip here, a clip here, and at which point this side of the case will can be pulled away and upwards. There is a clip there which is slightly more difficult to undo uh, and this part of the case can be undone. There's a clip here which is very difficult to undo uh, and at that point everything will be kind of coming up except for this middle section. The middle section is released by putting a flat bladed screwdriver down here on that side so uh, as close to the this bit here as you can and hinging it uh, there's a little plastic clip that you need to hinge away so if you see down that hole there there's a I might be able to see it, a, a, uh, a retaining clip you need to push the bit of plastic that's underneath it away so there's the bit of plastic retaining bit of plastic there that needs to get pushed away from the clip and here we have the insides of the router. Not a lot to see on this underside part. Now I've got both hands free. I can lift this up. So there's no clips holding the board in. The only thing that kind of holds it in is this power button, which goes through the hole in the case there. That's lifted that out. In the case you've got some light guides that take the LEDs on the board to the front of the router casing on the other side of the board. We have a soldered on fibre module made by Mentec. with the model number of FGE20-N6C-35S rated at 20 kilometers and 1.25 gigabit. What else do we have on this? We have the Wi-Fi aerials which will be these things silk screened onto the board. Just two of them it looks like and not particularly diverse so on some routers you'll have one on one side of the board and one on the other side of the board so you've got kind of almost like a diverse path uh, going through obstacles throughout the house. And the word printed onto it, Gen Hydra, G-E-N-H-Y-D-R-A. What looks like possibly the serial connection either there or more likely over towards the fiber module here so one of these is probably ground voltage send and receive for uh, using a debug terminal which I'm <laughs> I will definitely be trying and other than that huge heatsink some shielding you actually can put external antennas or your own antennas on this. There's uh, at least three connection points there where you could put antennas. I'm not sure what, so we've got, that's almost certainly Wi-Fi, these two, so that's probably the connection for that aerial there, the connection for that aerial there, and then over here we've got some much smaller, what looks, I wonder what that could be, but anyway the, those aerials here are tuned much shorter and uh, possibly maybe that's the 5 gigahertz one I don't know enough about um, wavelengths and aerial lengths to know whether that will be for the 5 or not the LEDs which go through those light guides um, and that's about it That's all that's notable. On this version, it's only got the one fibre module and it doesn't have 
the coax uh, cable TV um, RF over uh, fiber. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel.